should men have a say in, in abortion rights? No. Uh, men don't have to carry a child. Men don't really face any of the responsibilities. Yes. This is Russell for Brute. I'm in Washington Square Park, and we're here to ask some men about abortion. Should men have a say in abortion rights? No. I think everybody should have a conversation, but I think ultimately, um, you know, it's not up to us what to do is, you can't tell someone what to do with their body. It has nothing to do with us, you know? It's just really all, it's all them. We're not the ones that's actually getting pregnant and giving the baby. Like, that's not our choice. Why do you think men should have a say in abortion rights? Because um, men have a lot of power, and so they could like make uh, good laws. No. It's, I believe in my body, my choice. Well, they should have say, no, they should only be able to talk to the woman. The actual, the woman is the one to make decisions because it's her body. Perhaps in their own relationship, it's their child, but not as far as nationally goes. Yes, I do. I, I really do because um, it takes two to tangle, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's his baby just as much as hers. Everyone should have a say in abortion rights, women and men included. I don't think it should be a decision that should be made by one singular sex. What do you think is the best way for a man to be an abortion rights activist? They're not supposed to be there at all. No idea. Listen to what women say. Yeah. Respect women's rights. Stand up for the people in his life who are fighting for the same cause and, you know, stand behind it if he believes in it. The only way is to support the woman. There's nothing they can do except for support. Men should be educated, you know? I think they should be informed of the laws, the procedures, things that happen in those situations. If the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, how do you think that would affect you? As a man? Yeah. Um, so the same way they affect women, they, I mean like right now they playing like games with actual human beings. If they want to carry the baby, why not? If they don't, why not? That's their body, their choice. You know what I mean? I don't know if it would like really affect me. <laughs> Maybe the things I might do to someone else, but like... I mean, it's not, it, even that doesn't really affect me selfishly. I mean, I think we would all feel some sort of ripple effect because we all have, you know, moms and sisters and aunts that we all care for. And it's like, these should be essential rights for women. The only way it would affect me is because it would hurt my friends. I know that because they're really upset about the issue right now. That's one of those things that wouldn't affect me at all. But it would create a cultural environment that would create a lot of angry women. That would affect me. <laughs> would affect me a great deal. I mean, directly at this time, I don't think it would affect me. But I, you know, at some point down the line, it could. It could affect everyone.